Good morning everyone, this is Natalie and today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious hamburger buns using your sourdough discard. You can also do these into hot dog buns, just do the normal shape. We're going to begin with one cup of very warm water. You want to make sure your water is warm, not hot, but not too cold. Around 90 degrees is good. Add 2.5 or 2.5 teaspoons of yeast to the water and blend it well until it dissolves. You may be wondering why we're adding yeast if we're also doing our sourdough discard. This is because we're not feeding the discard and making it extremely bubbly. We're just using the discard, having something to do with it and adding it to um, a recipe. In a large bowl, go ahead and add three and a half cups of bread flour. To this, you will add three tablespoons of sugar and one and a quarter teaspoons of sea salt. Now go back to your yeast water and add one teaspoon of olive oil. I like to use extra virgin and one tablespoon of whole milk. Add one large egg and mix it all together very well. Go ahead and add your liquid to your flour mixture and then add three tablespoons of melted butter. Then we're going to just start stirring all of this together. You can use your hands, you can use a fork, a spoon, whatever you like. You're just going to start making this now into a dough. Before getting this all incorporated together, we're now going to add our sourdough discard. So I'm going to do one half cup of unfed starter, also known as discard. Discard is known as the part of our starter that we just remove when we're going to feed our, our kept jar of starter. So instead of throwing it away, we like to use it in recipes. This is an example of how to use up some of that starter versus just tossing it in the trash, giving it the name discard. Discard will make your dough very sticky. You can add a little bit of flour as you go and start kneading, but you'll see it starts to soften up. Keep working with it, keep adding touches of flour if you need it, and you want to knead it for about a good six minutes. Six minutes is what I give all of my yeast breads when I'm when I'm kneading. So Learn to not hate your, your kneading. <laughs> if you really hate kneading, you can do this in a stand-up mixer using your bread paddle. That works just fine as well. After doing actual full kneading for six minutes, your dough should be a nice smooth ball of dough. We're just going to place it into the, the back into the bowl. You can grease your bowl and just cover it loosely with a cloth to keep your dough moist while it rises. About an hour later, it should be doubled in bulk. So this is what it looks like after rising. And we're just going to kind of deflate some of the air a little bit, give it um, another small kneading, and then let it rest for about 10 minutes. After a 10 minute rest, it's time to start shaping our buns. And this is when you can do whatever you like. If you like hamburger buns or if you want to do hot dog buns you just want to shape it into the shape necessary um, so grab about eight equal pieces and start rolling them into a small ball and placing it onto your baking sheet when i shape these i like to make like that little ball shape but then what i do is kind of um fold the top backwards one way and then fold it back the other way and then kind of start rounding out the top and flattening out the bottom and it makes it so I don't have seams all over the side of my hamburger bun. It gives it more of a nice rounded shape without anything interfering with how smooth it looks all the way around. So we're just going to do this. Um, you're going to get eight to nine 
buns, you wanna really shoot for eight to keep them all of the same consistent size. So just set these out so that as they rise again, you do want each bun to kind of touch each other just a little bit when they rise. You're going to go ahead and cover them up again with your clean towel and let them rise for about an hour again. They will be doubled in size, give or take, nice and puffy. So we're just going to give them an egg wash, which is one large egg and about a teaspoon of water. I'll blend it up and go ahead and brush those tops. And then you can top them with whatever you like. You can leave them plain, you can do poppy seeds, you can do everything, bagel seasoning, you can do sesame seeds, whatever it is that you like to top them off with. I'm doing half of them in just sesame seeds and the other half with everything bagel topping. At this point, they're ready to go into the oven. You want to bake them at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And you will have beautiful hamburger buns or hot dog rolls or whatever it is that you're deciding to do. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial on your buns. And I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful and glorious day. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.